All right, welcome back, everyone. We're going to be continuing our series in uh, Pokemon. So this is episode six, I believe, <clears throat> and we're going to be adding our player and UI. So um, the first thing we're going to be doing is actually working on the UI, and if we have time, we'll work on the player or the, um, yeah, the player. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a control node to hold all of our UI. Now, one thing I want to stress is that when you guys do this, I see a lot of people do this when they have their control node. When you do this, you will no longer be able to click anything because the control node is taking access to anything inside of that. Now, this is useful for a lot of things because you could have the focus entered, focus exited, blah, 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 blah all these things. However, for the purpose of our thing, this is not useful. We're going to remove that and essentially make it zero. And we're going to rename this to UI. Now let's go to the inspector tab and we're going to um, add a script. We're going to actually add this, yeah, to the battle scene. Perfect. We're going to create it. And in our UI script, we're not going to do anything yet. So let's go to our 2D and let's start adding things. So the first thing we're going to add is the menu tab. Let's go to... Um, a box, I think it is H box. Perfect. And we're going to put that in there. And this is going to be our menu. Now in our menu, we're going to have a box, which is no, grid container. We're going to have a grid container. Here it is. And we're going to have two columns in here. We're going to have buttons. And this will allow us to essentially, um, have a few buttons that is really easy to manipulate. So let's take our grid here and move this right here. Now let me just find okay the settings. So here in the theme overrides, I'm going to use the separation 45. Also going to have the the grid is at two columns, perfect, and. Lastly, going to have here is the minimum size. Weird. Can't seem to find it. Oh no, it's in our should be the button, I think. Let's actually start typing. Let's uh, go to here and we'll say fight. Cool. There's fight. Let's duplicate this. Right, there we go. And maybe it's in the UI that I, yeah, it is. Okay, in the UI, I'm actually gonna set the scale to three. Here we go. Ooh, what happened? There it is. All right, let's move these back. Okay, and in here, we're gonna rename this to fight. We're gonna rename this to switch. I'm going to rename this to capture. It's a high spell capture. There we go. And this one is flee. Now, what we want to do here is actually, because I want all these to kind of look the same or look like the original Pokemon, uh, we're going to select all of them. We're going to go to theme override uh, styles. I'm going to go to rest. No, nope, let me actually double check what I'm doing here. We're going to go to all of these and give it an empty box. Cool. And then we're going to go to the color and give it a black font. And then from here, I'm going to move the menu box a little to the right like this. And one last thing, I think I have separation in one more thing. Oh, it looks like that's it. Okay, cool. So we can kind of adjust this a little bit and go here and go to theme override constants and separate these as much as we like. 
Okay, let's actually put that at zero. I think 25 would do. And you can kind of play around with this. Now, let's play and see what we get. So first of all, we probably want to um, switch the text of all these. So switch. Let's say capture. And flee. There we go. Now, for some reason, the flee always messes up. I'm not sure why, so don't ask me. Um, I think it's the font itself. The font size is messed up. Um, so I would honestly suggest changing the font to something else. But at the moment, I don't know. This works fine. Because um, for some reason, if I have like one E or two E's, it works fine. But two E's does not work. I'll just have three E's for now. Um, but yeah, that's it. So here's our menu. And if I play, I can select them. Now they don't do anything yet, but they're there. So let's set up a few more things and then we'll actually hopefully get into, um, actually, no, let's do that now because it'll move over. So um, in order to use keyboard commands, what we can do is we can go to the focus. And then what we can do here is we can say the neighbor left, right, top or bottom. Now, what does this mean? What this means is if I have the fight focused, I can go to the right by clicking the right key button and the uh, neighbor right would be the switch, right? So neighbor right, we can select switch. On the bottom, we have capture. Right? And now we can do these for each of these. For the switch, we'll go to the focus and the left, or the neighbor bottom is flee. The left is fight. Now, if you want to do the right side, you could also, also do fight if you want, but I'm just gonna do um, two sides. So capture would be bottom, neighbor right is flee, and then neighbor top is fight, and lastly flee. Let's go to focus, neighbor top is switch, and neighbor left is, what is neighbor left? Capture. Perfect. Okay, now let's test this. Let's go over here. Let's focus, fight. And then it doesn't seem like it works out. Ah, here we go. We have to click it. So if we focus it, we can now move around. You can see that we have these different things selected. Looks like it's working pretty nicely. Now, if we want this automatically selecting, what we can actually do is we can say, um, see, where do I do this? Here we go. I do it in the battle script. Let's add it over here in our ready function. We'll say at the UI menu, we'll actually just go over here and we'll say this. So grid container slash fight grab focus. Now, when I play my game, it grabs the focus of the fight and then I can press enter to select it and whatever, right? So let's actually connect these. So let's go to the flea. No, actually let's not connect these yet. Um, let's duplicate them and then we'll connect them. Let's go to menu and we'll duplicate that twice and then subtract these. And this will be the fight menu. And this will be the switch menu. Okay. Now in the fight menu, we'll have four attacks. Now this is kind of important, but we're going to name these attack one through four or one, three and back. Sorry. So we'll have two attacks or three attacks. We'll have attack one, attack three, and you'll see why we do this later, but we'll have attack uh, one, three, and two. Now let's hide this menu and hide this menu. And let's go over here. And let's go to attack. Let's name these random ones. We'll, we'll end, end up um, fixing the text later, but right now let's just give it like random text. We'll say blast, blast, and impact. The other one will be back. This one's always going to be back. So let's rename that back. Let's rename this back as well. That's that one's also going to be, be back. Okay. So the reason why we have one, three, and two is because the three has to be here where it's the neighboring left and neighboring bottom. So it's just the order of the way it is, it's done that kind of matters. That's it. But in terms of um, adjusting it later, it won't really affect anything. You don't worry too much. So for the last one, the switch, let's go to the switch. Let's see what I have. We're going to have the same thing. However, we're going to have Dokimon one, 
Dokimon 3 and Dokimon 2 and then back. Now for the names, we'll do, I think I'll just leave them like this. I think I'll leave them like that. It doesn't really matter because we'll end up um, adding it later on. Okay, now let's hide all these and show the menu. Now let's add a few more things. And I think we're actually going to be finished in this episode. Let's add a, two labels. So let's add a label into our UI. Here we go. Let's duplicate that. And then we'll also add a progress bar. Now the progress bar is going to be for our player. Let's add that over here. And now let me go to my progress bar and give it the proper theme override. So let's go to the styles, go to the background, new style box empty, and then fill. We're going to make it green by giving it student new uh, flat. And for green, we just have to do it like this. That's, that'll give us the nicest green. And that is it for that. Um, for the percentage, we're going to take that off. So that way now I can make it a lot smaller. And then I'm going to extend it here. And now what it'll look like is like this. So if I give it 50%, it'll look like that. Now it looks a lot nicer. Now for the labels, we'll have one for info and one for HP text. And we're not going to do anything in these yet, but we're going to have the HP text down here. So this is going to be like 10 out of 10, for example. So let's actually go to the theme overrides and give it the color black and move this up a little bit. Let's center it. There we go. Sure that works. And then for the info, we'll put this guy right here. So this will have like the name, like Dokimon level one dot 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 or something or 100. So let's go to the theme overrides and give it the color black and center it. Let's actually um, enter the vertical in the center, but then horizontal, uh, we'll leave it in the, on the left. Okay, let's actually do the top on the vertical. That looks a little nicer. Okay, and there we go. So that's the UI for the player. Now for the um, monster, this is actually pretty easy. So let's add a control node. Actually, let's just duplicate this guy. Take away the script. Let's put this up here. A monster. UI and then we'll just delete the menus because we don't need that because the monster is a an uh what do you call it a UI or a AI and then we're just gonna move these up here for the monster and that's it right we kind of have to adjust some things maybe move that up there or move it uh, wherever you'd like but that's it that's pretty much it for the monster and player and let's see what else am I missing I have, oh, the last thing we are missing is the action tab. So the action text, so this is going to be action. I'm going to say action. And this guy is actually going to go right here. So if I have some sort of text I want to add, so like this is an action, we'll have it here. So let's actually go to theme and font size and make it a little bigger. I think, yeah, 40, 48, let's do 48. There we go. So that's pretty much it. I did 48 in my reference. Very cool. Let's actually make sure that this is word smart as well. And that's it. So we pretty much finished setting up our UI and the next video will set up the player and hopefully a little bit of fighting. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys next time.